That's not your job, I'm sorry. No, no, I do the closure call every night. Start a business. 
de gouvernement est fier d'avoir investi plus de 172 millions de dollars dans la nouvelle flotte de véhicules à l'entreprise du Fonds fédéral de la taxe sur l'essence. C'est là un autre exemple des investissements sans précédent que le gouvernement conservateur fait dans l'infrastructure. Our government is proud to invest more than $171 million into the new fleet of the Federal Gas Tax Fund. This is one example of our conservative government's unprecedented investment in infrastructure. Building infrastructure was the finishing touch of the great project of Confederation. Sir John A. McDonald built the National Railway from east to west and tied together disparate provinces into a great Canadian nation. Today, infrastructure is essential to creating jobs, growth, and long-term prosperity from coast to coast to coast. Public transit is a vital part of this. Thousands of Torontonians rely on public transit to get them back and forth from work, from the food on the table of their families. Our government recognizes the importance of infrastructure. We're investing in infrastructure across the GTA, helping expand the Spagina subway in the York region, increasing road service across the GTA, and extending Highway 407 into Durham. And we aren't stopping there. This past spring, we launched a $53 billion new building Canada plan, the largest and longest federal infrastructure plan in our nation's history. The plan supports infrastructure projects, national, regional, and local significance that promote joint innovation, economic growth, and productivity. For Ontarians, this represents over $11 billion in dedicated federal funding. It includes more than $2.7 billion in the New Building Canada Fund and over $8 billion in the federal gas tax fund. We're proud to make historic and unprecedented investments that create jobs and growth across Ontario. They are a key part of Canada's economic action plan. Plan has transformed our country into an economic success story. We've created more than 1.1 million net new jobs since the height of the recession. The overall tax burden is at its lowest level in 50 years. More Canadians are working today than at any other time in our history. And we will build on the success of the projects we fund help to allow one of the best places in the world to live, work, and raise a family. Thank you for being here with us today. Mr. Stephen Del Duca. Well, good morning, everyone. And I want to begin by thanking Andy for that uh, ter uh, really uh, wonderful introduction. I'm delighted to be here with all of you, of course. Uh, alongside federal and, uh, and local partners, uh, Minister Joe Oliver and you know, my good friend, TBC Chair, uh, Councillor Maria Ajumeri. This is a very, very exciting day uh, for the TTC, for the City of Toronto, and frankly for uh, the province of Ontario, because after all of the sneak peeks and the previews and the test rides, this day has finally come. As has been said today, the TTC's next generation of streetcars goes into service. And thanks to the Ontario government's commitment of up to $416 million, the first of 204 new streetcars is ready to roll and will depart from this station in just a few minutes. These new streetcars will be providing better service providers and will move more people to help them reach their destination sooner. We know that transit is an important piece of the equation when it comes to building stronger cities, stronger communities like Toronto. Building better public transit is a key part of our government's long-term transportation infrastructure plan. Our plan will make it easier for people to take transit, reduce gridlock, and improve the quality of the air we breathe, while at the same time helping our local economy grow. Our government has demonstrated its commitment to building better public transit with the largest investment in transit in over a decade. Since 2003, we have committed 
nearly $4.3 billion to the City of Toronto to help, ex and help improve and extend transit. Examples of these investments include, as I mentioned, $416 million for the new TTC streetcars, a commitment of up to $172 million for the revitalization of Union State, $870 million for the Toronto York Spadina subway extension, more than $1.4 billion to the City of Toronto through the provincial gas tax program since 2004. Our investments in transit infrastructure are creating and sustaining thousands of good jobs here in this province. We have worked with our federal and our municipal partners to improve, improve public transit in Toronto and across Ontario, and we will continue to make public transit a priority and a more convenient option for commuters. The countdown is almost complete, and the first streetcar is about to roll out of this stadium. These streetcars have already been on quite a journey from the drawing board to their production plants and testing runs, and finally here to Spadina Station. They have passed through many hands, from designers and engineers, to the suppliers and laborers, to the TTC crew and drivers. Now, they will belong to the people and form part of the framework of public transportation in Ontario. Thank you very much. albeit for a very short time this year, and this will be one of their last public acts. Peter Leon from Etobicoke and Sita Ramon Pramon Singh from this community. This is certainly a great day for the City of Toronto and for TTC riders. I've had the privilege of riding this streetcar before, and believe me, it's a great ride. I'm particularly pleased that these streetcars are fully accessible. Thank you to the investment and support of our federal and provincial funding partners so that we can offer you a smoother, quieter, more comfortable ride. TTC staff have been working tirelessly behind the scenes. We honor all of the workers who have made these vehicles with us today in the Thunder Bay plant. Very special thanks to the Advisory Committee on Accessible Transit for their important contribution to helping make sure that the are accessible. This is another important step for renewal and building of the new transit infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, today you can see that Toronto is streetcar city. We are proud of our streetcar fleet. And may they be here for hundreds of years. Thank you for joining us today. 